So today is February 27th, 2019, and I'm about to go tell my mom that I might have cancer at 22. Let's see how this goes. Hello, my name is Magdalena Bujalski, and I have stage four lymphoma. I decided that I wanted to share my cancer journey on YouTube and show everyone what I'm going through because in a way this would be a type of therapy for me. I would be able to express myself and talk to a camera out loud while I was dealing with all of this. Also, I wanted to bring awareness to cancer in young adults. You don't really think that in your early 20s you're gonna get something as serious as cancer. And I think that it's really important to shed some light on that and that it is in fact very real and clearly it happens and it comes right out of nowhere. My diagnosis was definitely a very big shock for me. I feel like it came at a time where everything in my life was finally falling into place. I had just moved in with my boyfriend a few months ago. I'm supposed to graduate from university with my degree. In three weeks from now, I was offered a full-time job at a place where a year ago I would have never imagined that I would be able to even work at. I finally felt like everything, like I said, was just coming together and then this happened and now everything is just falling apart. So a quick story on how I found out that I had cancer. About, I guess now two months ago, the end of January 2019, I noticed that my left arm was numb and tingling but I never really gave much thought to it until one day after work I went to the gym. Coincidentally I was changing in front of a full-length mirror and when I looked up I noticed that my left arm and a little bit of my neck here was a bluish color, very veiny, very swollen looking and stiff and compared to my right arm. So I freaked out right away, went home and asked my boyfriend if I was crazy or if I was actually very swollen. At the time I also had kind of a bad cough, but I didn't think anything of it just because it was the middle of winter and that week it was minus 45 to minus 52 with the wind chill. So it was just very, very harsh out. The next day I went to a walking clinic and the doctor looked at me and she said, I have no idea what to tell you. So she sent me for blood tests and a x-ray. The blood tests came back that my white blood cell count was very high as well as the x-ray showed that there was some sort of an infection happening in my lungs. So I was prescribed a general antibiotic for it. They thought it might have been like a mild bronchitis or the beginning of pneumonia. Um, and she told me that just in case, go get another x-ray done a week after you're done your antibiotics just to make sure that everything's gone. Exactly what I did, I went and got an x-ray. The following morning, first thing, I get a phone call from our local hospital here in the city saying, you have a CT scan, you need to come in as soon as you can. I thought they had the wrong number. I was like, no, no way. And she said, yeah, your x-ray showed some abnormalities. We need to get a better look. I went in for my CT scan and a few days right after that, the walk-in doctor that I originally went to see called me and basically quickly just said, there's a mass on your lung. I can't really tell you much details, but I'm gonna send you to a thoracic surgeon, which is basically a surgeon of the lungs and chest kind of area. So fast forward a few days, I had an appointment. I went by myself to see this thoracic surgeon at a hospital and he basically sat me down, looked me dead in the eye and said, you have a really big tumor on your right lung. I'm pretty sure it's cancer. I freaked out. I started crying uncontrollably. I don't even know what's going on. I'm 22, how is this possible? And he said, we have to do a biopsy. We can't tell you for sure, but chances are that it's a lymphoma. So that was tough. That night I had to go and tell my family that I might have cancer. My boyfriend actually was in Mexico that week, so I had to pick him up from the airport keep it together the whole drive home and sit him down when we got home to tell him that I might have cancer. About three days after I told my family I had my biopsy and it was a full-blown surgery because of the placement of where the tumor is it was really hard for them to know exactly what they were getting themselves into trying to reach it. After my biopsy, it was a very long two and a half week wait to get the results. In between, I did have a few extra tests done. I had actually quite a lot of blood tests done and I had another CT scan. 
And then finally, after two and a half weeks, the thoracic surgeon's nurse called me and said they have my results, that I needed to come in right away. Unfortunately for me, while I was driving to see the thoracic surgeon, the oncologist's office called and said that they needed to make an appointment with me right away. So that kind of gave it away that it was cancer. I, th I think that's a good and a bad thing because it kind of ripped the band-aid off for me. I probably would have had crazy anxiety waiting in the waiting room of the doctor. So maybe in a sense, it's better that I found out that way. As of right now, I know that I will be getting chemotherapy as well as radiation right after the chemotherapy to make sure that the tumor is shrunk as much as possible. It is a stage four lymphoma. The proper term for the type of lymphoma that I have is called primary mediastinal large B-cell lymphoma. Basically, I have a tumor kind of on my right lung here, on my chest. So it's under my boobs, under my rib cage, but on top of my lung. So it's in a weird place, it's getting squished, which is kind of putting a lot of pressure on my lungs. Unfortunately, it is stage four due to the fact that it has almost doubled in size from my first CT scan to my second. It is also kind of moving slowly into my neck. There are some uh, cancer cells that are coming, becoming more and more present in my neck. The specific chemo combination that I will be getting is called RCHOP and that'll be six rounds. So it will be one treatment every three weeks and then followed by radiation. My treatment in total, if all goes well, should be between, I guess, four and a half to six-ish months. I know that cancer is obviously a very tough subject, especially when you're 22 and you're ready to start your life and then you get this crazy bombshell thrown on you. You might think, I look pretty happy for someone who has known for about two weeks now that they have cancer. Well, I decided that there's two ways to go about this. I could either be super sad and it would just make me feel even more sick than I am, or I can try my best to be happy and show that, you know what, despite the fact that I have cancer, I can try to live my life as normally as possible. Early on, kind of right after I was diagnosed, I vowed to myself that I would try to be as positive as I can through this experience. You know, despite the fact that I have stage four cancer, which of course I think is very unfair. However, I've accepted that this is a part of my life. I don't have a choice. I need to go through with this and I will fight it and I will bounce back. You can live normally. You can do your best to just keep moving forward in life, even with such a crazy setback as this. Another reason why I wanted to document my journey was to be able to help out other people. I want people who are either going through the something similar or who will be going through this in the future or even their friends and family to be able to see what the road ahead would maybe look like. I am definitely very fortunate that I know somebody who went through a similar lymphoma about a year and a half ago and she is doing great and she's healthy right now so for me seeing that has gives me hope that a year from now I'll be okay. I know that the next six plus months of my life are going to be terrifying, are going to be difficult, but I know that at the end of the day, I'm in very good hands. I am very lucky that I live where I live, that I've had the treatment that I've had so far and that this was found pretty early on and I know that I'll be okay.